My next guest is Jane Buckingham of Trendera. She was commissioned by the CW Channel to see what women want, and she's here now with the results. And Jane, it sounds like the net result is that women want stronger women on the screen, but explain to us what that means. Stronger emotionally, stronger physically? You know, I think both. I think, first of all, stronger physically. I think that we are ready for women who are tough, women who can take charge. You know, I think we're seeing the outcome of all of the female empowerment, the Cosmo Girl, Riot Girls, women being strong. And so women today want to see women who are strong, tough, and take charge, but still beautiful and can fall in love and look good in a dress, but really know what they're doing. It kind of sounds like you're describing Angelina Jolie, and I know that she's actually come up as a model modern strong woman yeah. uh, among the people that you've surveyed, kind of kicking butt on the big screen, but also being able to have kids and having the choice to not get married. Yeah, she really is someone who women respond to because she seems to have all sides of herself. She's strong, she's tough, she does these great stunts, but then she really cares about her kids and presumably her husband. So I think that women are looking for that. You know, 10 years ago, we responded to the slightly quirky, neurotic women, the Ally McBeals, the, the Carrie Bradshaws, and now we want, especially in a world that's really difficult, women who are a little bit more together. Now we're seeing uh, outtakes from Angelina Jolie's latest movie and there's a lot of violence in that movie. Talk about the tolerance for violence in, in pop culture right now. How is it different uh, to see women in violent movies, violent TV shows versus men in those same situations? I think it's something that as society we're not entirely used to, but I think that women are saying, hey, why shouldn't we? If we're seeing it in, with men, we can see it with women. It's got to make it more realistic. I think authenticity is a big key right now. And I think what they're saying is, is there's nothing a man, well, almost nothing a man can do that a woman can't do as well. And they just want it to feel real. They don't want it to be the sugar-coated girl running around in a bikini, putting her hands up in the air and letting a man take care of it. Okay, so then how do you translate that into actual television programming? There's only so many shows that the networks and the channels can put on about gun-toting women um, and these action heroes before it becomes unrelatable as well because we've heard from TV writers and network executives that the best kind of programming are characters that are in relatable situations. Yes, and most of us don't carry a gun and fight the bad guys most of the time. But I think what it is is that we want to see these women who have multidimensional characters who are deep. So someone on Nikita who has been wronged and is righting the wrongs and the violence is just an outcome of it. Or the woman on Chase who's a marshal on NBC and she's someone who is dealing with something from her past and again trying to sort of right the wrong. So do I think every woman is going to be toning a gun? No, but I think we want these women who are complex and able to take care of themselves. And talk to us about how that affects the advertising part uh, for the programs. Has that caught up with the content as well? Or are we going to continue to see uh, Maybelline ads <laughs> running side by side with the Nikita program? Um, probably it'll take advertising a little while to catch up because I think that when they're trying to sell a product they're a little bit uh, more or less comfortable making these really tough almost scary women but I think that sooner or later advertising will catch up because it's not just this gorgeous sit by herself fixing her hair woman it's really a woman who knows what she's doing and so I think advertising will certainly catch up Talk to us a little bit about your survey. Go in depth a bit there because uh, you mentioned Ally McBeal and Carrie Bradshaw who some people might say ultimately wanted to get married even though they were single, they were successful working yep. women. They wanted to get married and in Carrie Bradshaw's case she did and they made two movies off of that. Do women still ultimately want to get married according to the surveys that you conducted? Yes, in reality, women do want to get married, and the grand majority of them do. However, a lot of them think that marriage today is going to be tougher because the men, while there was all of this girl power going on, the men were sort of left on their own, and so we've got these guys who are having this extended adult essence into their 20s, living at home, not getting a job. So 77% of the women thought that men today were more immature than 20 years ago, <laughs> fewer than, at which <laughs> might be true, um, maybe not. Um, um, but then, you know, we also have women who are saying over half are saying that their marriages won't be better than their parents. Mm. So they're anticipating that there's this big gender gap between these women who really have been bred to be strong, do what they need to, but also want to have a man, and then these men who are sort of trying to figure out what their role is right now. Right. That is the modern contradiction. All right. Thank you so much for your time. We've been speaking with Jane Buckingham. She's the president of Trendera.